The Biden administration says it's closely watching a small fleet of Russian ships and a submarine that arrived in Cuba yesterday for military exercises. The Pentagon says the vessels pose no threat to the U.S., but for some who lived here in the 1960s, the scenario brings back memories of the Cuban Missile Crisis. CBS News's Duarte Geraldino has more. A 21-gun salute welcomed three Russian ships and a nuclear-powered submarine to Cuba Wednesday for what the U.S. expects will be Russia's largest military exercises in the Caribbean in five years. U.S. officials say the exercises will also include flights by Russian long-range bombers along the East Coast. We, of course, take it seriously, but uh, these exercises don't pose a threat to the United States. The Pentagon and other White House administration officials note that the exercises, which come as President Biden is in Italy for the G7 summit, are no surprise, though they follow the president's recent decision to allow Ukraine to use U.S. weapons to strike inside of Russia. A small U.S. Navy task force that includes ships specifically fitted with sonar for tracking submarines, patrol planes, and sail drones is shadowing the Russian fleet. We're always constantly going to monitor um, any foreign vessels operating near U.S. territorial waters. The Russian warship in Havana has previously been used to test fire one of Moscow's newest hypersonic missiles. The submarine is also able to carry guided missiles, though the U.S. does not believe it is transporting nuclear weapons. The Russian fleet is expected to stay in Cuba until next week. After that, it could move on further south to Venezuela. When it does, U.S. officials say the Navy will again shadow the vessels. Duarte Geraldino, CBS News. Cuba says a Canadian patrol vessel is also expected to arrive in Havana tomorrow to celebrate the two countries' bilateral cooperation. So meanwhile in Italy, President Joe Biden will meet with Ukrainian's president at the G7 summit where the two are expected to sign an agreement committing the U.S. to Ukraine's security over the next 10 years.